So we've been a bit unlucky with the missions that appear after the first executive terminals. All of these are 12 hours away. I think we're probably going to do this detention center. So more missions will appear once we're on day two. Uh, also, there's a server farm which should be nearby once we've done this. Uh, getting the extra agent could be a big deal. That'll be faster exploring before we go in. Uh, we can upgrade Anarchy. I think we want to do that on International. Uh, we can afford one speed upgrade, so that should be for Shu. And we're going to save this money because we'll probably need to buy Detention. a weapon for our new agents. We'll be looking for something that has armor piercing if we can find it. Destination lock acquired. Coordinate pressure 99.9%. That's a lot of things to detect right away. This is a console database. It is worth doing that right away if we get it on the first level. I prefer a camera database, obviously, because that gives us actual cameras to hack. Uh, let's get into this safe as well, but we're not in a hurry to do that. I think we'll need the power later. It's more likely that we'll need the power later, but we can take this now. Uh, because we're playing with seed, there's no real risk that we'll be taking more power than we can actually use. Locked door there. Another locked door there, so we can't go this way yet. This spot is not a good place to end international, because it's right in front of the door. That's a camera. So if, if there is a patrol that comes through this door, International would be seen on this spot. I think it should be okay to get through here. And leave Shu on melee. So we do have someone walking around in front of this door. It's quite likely that they're on this square looking at the door and we can't see them yet. Let's take this down so we get the information about where this is. I think we probably want to send Shu up here. That's not seen or noticed by anyone. We are at risk of someone coming out of this door and turning left. But we'll accept that. That's a locked. That's the locked door up here, so we don't need to get into this room at all. Another safe. We're still getting a free hack once per turn, so we can save one power from hacking that. I don't want to put international into the room. I guess I should have put shoe on melee. Okay, so we get to steal from this guard without knocking him out. That should be pretty good. I think we do want to explore in this direction. Get a med gel, that could be... Or we'll just be selling it. <laughs> we have to be careful because there's a chance that there's a guard here. It's worth taking the risk. Let's see where he's going. He's going further in, so this spot should be okay. I'm gonna go on to melee. He won't see us when he goes further in. We get a chance to look through here. We're not gonna go through this turn because it's unsafe, but we can go on to melee on this spot. And let's take down the safe that we're gonna get into. Another guy walking around here, he's going further away from the door. This guy's walking probably in this room. He doesn't notice the door. So here he is. We can steal from him, but then how do we get into safety? Let's see where he goes. He's turning around. Seems potentially safe. 
as long as we don't get seen by someone up here. This is tall cover, so that helps. He's got a pass card. Um, for now, we're not going to take that. Uh, what I could do is drop the med gel, take the pass card, and then exchange the pass card on the floor with the med gel. That's so that we're able to take the pass card later if we want to, I think. Okay, that's our objective, so it could actually be worth taking this guy out now, because otherwise he'll be stopping us from getting in here. His patrol doesn't look that dangerous, actually. So we might just leave him. There's nothing up here, so we're just getting this safe. Looks like there's no other guard here, so this should be fine. Yep, so we've got full view on this room. More safes. There's a chance that International gets seen on this square, so we're going to want to take down as much as we can while it costs only one per firewall. That's another safe. This room is a <laughs> very good room to have found so early, so we get to take it down uh, all very cheaply. Also, we know that this is now a dead end. This is Decca, I think. Yeah. Do we zap this guard? Is it worth zapping the guard? We might be able to get in without zapping him. If we do zap him, we have to keep him pinned. But if we don't zap him and someone sees us from this direction, then that would be pretty bad. I think it's safer to just take him down now. Alright. Ah, interesting. So this guy's come and seen us. We are going to take this down. We have to get to steal from him. Of course, he hasn't actually seen us. <laughs> we can't zap him now. We're going to need to know where he goes. We're going to use Shu for that for sure. Yeah. So we can't safely drag this guy anywhere. He's going to stand on the downed guard. We just need to be in safety, I think. He's going to stand on his friend next. This guy is going to come further in. That should be fine. Not heard there, so the rest of this is straightforward. We'll check the nanofab before getting this safe. Neural Disruptor 2, yes. That will be another weapon so we can give it to Decker. Anatomy analysis, we don't have any lethal weapons and we're not likely to pick any up. We already have an EMP pack. Shock trap allows us to deal with armor, but I think the money is better spent on speed upgrades, so we're getting this for sure. We won't be able to get out of this door next turn. That should be fine. Hey, you okay? Investigating area. We could just wait for this guy to go away. I'm pretty sure he doesn't come into the room. He should turn around again. I think that's better than taking the alarm hits. 
can see where he's going. For now it might be worth exploring around here just to find some more things to hack. That's our exit, good to know. There should be one more safe, could be up here. We can't safely get there just yet. Next turn we'll have a Neural Disruptor available. We'll go on to melee just in case the guard comes through, I'm pretty sure he doesn't, he should turn around. Ah. Okay. So he was on a very well, long patrol route. Here. So this gives us a chance to get into this room. This guy's gonna wake up, of course. We have stolen from this guy. There'll be the captain around here, and because he has a wider vision cone, we don't have an easy way of distracting him. I think we need to run onto this square. But we need to do it in such a way that it doesn't bring this guy in. Let's hide here and go onto melee. This is our free hack this turn. Probably want to bring Shu up to help with the objective room. Might as well get this power. We're not going to send International back for it. It only costs us an extra two action points, and I think that's worth it. Let's equip the other Neural Disruptor. It's another reason why it's good to have a spare. Okay, this guy wakes up. We can't get past this guy yet. He's gonna scan his own square. I think we need to be here. Or we could just zap him. But it looks like he's gonna be going around into this direction. I don't think we can safely distract this guard yet. We can see, see the there's a security guard here. Where's the captain? Yeah, so this could be a problem. How are we going to deal with this? Both of these guards are going to be stationary. If we run, we distract both of them, and we can't get into a spot where we can zap both of them. We might have to leave one agent here and one agent here on melee and do it in such a way that this guy's gonna come around here. Or we run away from this spot so that they come around. I'm not sure this is gonna work. <laughs> We might try and get this safe before we do this, because there'll be a lot of, well, there'll potentially be a lot of alerted guards. So he's going in. That's fine. We're not going to change their paths, I think. So there's one safe left unless... No, there isn't a safe left because there's this one here. So we have indeed gotten all five safes. I'm being silly. <laughs> Not sure why I thought there'd be an extra safe. Yeah, I just failed to count correctly. There is potentially a server terminal up here, but it's pretty unlikely. 
Let's get this power. And we do have a clean run from the objective to the exit room, which is always good. Yep. Is now the right time? Can run around to here. Only one of them heard that. This captain did not hear it hear the running at all. I should have closed this door. I think. If I'd have known the captain didn't hear that, I'd just stay here and zap the guard. So this, this door itself counts as cover. There's a, a funny thing about the way the game works, which is that I think if I open this door, <laughs> then this guy would see me from this spot. So what we should do, I think, is close this door now, uh, divert this guard around. But we'll check that we're going to be safe. Yeah, they're interested in places that don't matter at all. Do you see that? So we can put shoe on melee here. Of course we need a way of distracting this guy. Which we don't have. Actually going on to melee here should be a little bit better. So we're going to get another guard. He's all the way up here, that is fine. We didn't steal from him yet, so let's do that now. We're going to run onto this spot. Did you hear that? Oh, I forgot to give the neural disruptor. This should be fine. <laughs> Can't spy on either of these guards. We go on to Overwatch. Let's equip this one in case we need to use it. Might as well close the door. We zap this captain, get to steal from him, and we get to open the cell door, and then we're leaving. So this was reasonably smooth, though we did end up knocking out basically all of the guards on the level. <laughs> That's not what we really want to be doing, but didn't see a way around this part otherwise. Might as well pin. Again, might as well pin. I don't see a reason not to run though. Not 
not that it matters. Ah, that's fine. Nothing else to hack. We might get a chance to peek around here, but we do have another guard coming on at security level 4. That might make it a bit harder. He's going away. He's going back. He's interested in this corner. So we should be okay to do this. That's just a pass card, we don't need it. We didn't use the buster chip. Because we managed to hack everything pretty early on. We're investigating the scene. So this gives Shu a way past, just to check around this corner. I think it is worth doing. If there is a... Looks like it's just absolutely nothing. If there were a uh, server terminal, then it's worth finding. doesn't get heard. This shouldn't get heard either. We'll want to know where these, this guy's going at least. So he's going to be looking at this door. I think that's okay. He doesn't get through the door, which is important. This guy's gonna wake up in front of this door. Looks like we're okay to get through this door now. Yeah, he's going to be facing a door so that doesn't block Shu from getting past. I think this is now pretty straightforward. Let's all go onto melee just in case. And we're getting out. So this is going pretty well, I think. Uh, we managed to get 100% on the level. Uh, we got all the saves we saw from everyone. We have another agent, and uh, also we managed to get... an armor-piercing weapon, which is a big deal. Uh, we're going to be facing armored guards from day two onwards, I think. I'm sure the agent who recovered is grateful to get out of that cell. I'm grateful to have more boots on the ground. <laughs>